Okay, this is version 2.08 of the MPC Jail plugin. Now with this one, I am adding in a user request by gmoon777, if I recall. He had asked for the ability to take away inventory um, and maybe a couple settings to return it. So what I've done is I've made it to where you can configure from the configuration file, the config.yml, all the way up to the jails. So on this one for the world settings added in a couple new things as you can see um, so take on arrest if it's set to global it's going to be whatever the uh, the global is if you hit an X then it doesn't take their inventory for anywhere in this world um, if your global in the config.yml is set to a true this overrides that true overrides anything you put in the global now return on escape on escape is kind of um, touchy so if you add the setting inside of your config.yml and set it to true or false then this global will take advantage of that and that'll read at if you leave it blank then this means that they can escape as long as all your settings are global throughout the thing they can escape a jail their inventory stays with the jail they can get it back when they go through their freed process when they are set to an X on the escape and this pertains to in the jail setting or in the world settings or even in the config if you put that to a false or an X on either of those when they escape their inventory is deleted it's gone from the jail system anything that was confiscated if they gain something while they're in jail no biggie they keep that but if they got it confiscated upon being arrested that is gone permanently they cannot get it back Setting it to a check means they get that information or that inventory back immediately upon escaping from your jail. So it's up to you what you want to do with that. I'd probably leave it to where they have to, you know, go through the whole process to get their stuff back on free. Um, setting it to an X, it destroys the inventory when they get set to free, kind of like the escape does. And you do on free and you set that to a true, which is a check mark then they will get that information or the uh, inventory back so in this one let's see what I have set for the jail so this is all on default let's go ahead and we'll do a couple tests real quick so right now I have some inventory and sadly I put an NPC a little ways away and let me put myself to and get arrested and okay so smack around a little bit I got seven seconds he's gonna knock me down and voila now I'm arrested so with this one as soon as I'm done it's gonna let me get my stuff back so there's all my stuff or no I actually never took it my bad um, so let's set it to it's late I usually do these in the middle of the night like right now it's almost three o'clock so um, so let's take the inventory go get arrested again and punch 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 get me arrested voila notice my inventory is no longer down there and now I'm free and did I not get it back what did I set um, oh, I don't have it set for the world so Yeah, I don't have any settings in my config. I have it set to false, so I just deleted my inventory. Um, let me get myself some inventory real quick and fix that. Uh, about some stones. Some sponges, that sounds good. So, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And on free, we're going to return that. So punch this guy, get him to arrest me. Now I've been arrested, stuff was taken away, and when I get free, it's back. Now, one thing you can do to change the way this functions is you can add a chest. So right here, if you click on this, hit enter, punch a chest. Now this does not support double chest yet. I don't know if anybody even cares about that. Let me know if you do. If so, I'll add it to where I can look for the other chest over here um, on both sides. But as it is right now now I've set that and since I have a chest set and I've got the on free 
it'll change the way this acts a hair. So we'll go get arrested again. Okay, got arrested, stuff is gone. And now my stuff has been uh, returned. I'm free. Open up the chest, and it's all in here. And they can go in, they can take one part out of it. I'm not really sure what people want to do this, so please leave me comments of what your thoughts are. Maybe I can add a config setting for how your chest will work. Right now, they can leave this stuff in there in eternity. So they, they technically could get arrested and use it as a large chest that kind of flows around to all the jails if they really wanted to. Um, so I'm not sure how much that'll affect people's gameplay on the server. So I guess let me know on that one. Um, but yeah, that's that's how that works. Let's set this to uh, delete my inventory on escaping. So I'm going to go out here and get arrested and I'll escape and I'll lose everything. Uh, Alright. Oh, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I did. Alright, so all my inventory, as you can see down here, it let me know that uh, my inventory has been confiscated. So let me make it over here since my bounty is currently going up since I'm out. Alright. Um, I'm going to set my bounty down. Set bounty to, I don't know, 10. Alright, so now I'm free. Uh, nothing in the chest. I lost all my junk for escaping. So it's pretty much up to you how you want to punish your uh, players. Um, give me comments on what you want. If you want the chest to have a double chest, if you want the chest to have a little bit different function, maybe a timeout. I, could, I was thinking about adding a timeout on the inventory to where each item that gets added um, will have a timeout on it. So basically, as you go through they could get arrested and might have a set of like three items. Those three items will time out after whatever time we set and they get arrested again. A couple more items get put back in there and they'll eventually expire so they can't have them there forever but I haven't added that yet because I didn't know that anybody would even care about that. If you do, let me know. I'm all down for adding more wacky stuff to this thing. Um, so yeah, enjoy.